Okay, so in this course, we will only be creating one app in which we will iteratively improve, introduce new concepts, and see how we can work with different Android APIs or part of the Android SDKs in a better way using Kotlin. Now, as I mentioned in the promo video and in the description for this course, we won't cover all of Android. So there are many courses on this topic. They take maybe 50 hours to cover at least much of Android, but it's really not possible to cover all the topics that revolve around Android. Instead, what we want to do in this course is we want to look at some of the, some of the things that are used most frequently in Android and then see how we can really use Kotlin to really improve on the code that we normally write in Java. And we're going to use extension functions most of the time. We're going to use higher order functions, data classes, and all those concepts that we learned and that aren't available in Java in order to write cleaner code. And once we've done that here in this course, you will also be able to understand why we're doing this, how we're doing this, and in what kind of situations you might want to do this. So that way you will also be able to apply the same kind of well, transformations or refactorings to other parts of the Android API in order to write better code. So all those features in Kotlin really allow you not only to write cleaner code, but also to write just more robust and safer code by avoiding null, using non-nullable types, to write more concise code, more modularized code. And that's really the goal of this course, to really teach you how to improve your code with those features that you learn about. So most of the time I will start off by implementing everything basically the Java way, just written in Kotlin basically. And that's unfortunately also where many other courses stop. So they use null a lot, they use unsafe call operators, the double exclamation mark a lot and all those kinds of things which are really sad because you have much better features and much better possibilities in Kotlin. So we really want to focus on then how to improve the Java way or the way it's traditionally done by applying those concepts we've learned about and step by step making our code better. So I hope you're going to learn a lot from this section and that you're going to be able to write code that you and your colleagues like reading and maybe even your colleagues can learn something from. So with this, I'm going to stop talking about what we're going to do and instead we're going to dive into the code and get started with our app.